and more than one division. He's coming in, I guess, with his family. Is that cool? Sad. Super Judah. situation, my whole team, my father, my uncle, my trainers, um, just everybody, um, business manager Bill Hawkins, Daryl Mo. Um, you know, some, some days you have off night, you know, one thing I want to say is, uh, you know, Paulie was, uh, he was just a little, uh, just didn't want to engage in a fight like I thought he was, you know what I'm saying, he stayed outside with his jab and he used his distance pretty good, he kept it outside good. Zap, is this the case where the teacher has been beaten by the student? No, oh, I just think that you know, um, tonight he had a, you know, he had a better game plan. You know what I'm saying? He, he stayed outside and he boxed. You know what I'm saying? He used his lateral movement and you know, I think the little, the little time and body movement that he had it kind of threw me off a little bit. You know, every time that I went to get it, it was like his timing was different. I can't really pick his timing up, so. Yeah. Is this, is this, uh, this is, you've, you've had some losses and some big fights before, but because of the Brooklyn aspect of this and being your hometown and being against Polly, who's your, you know, your homeboy, does this one hurt, sting a little bit more than, than your average defeat? Of course, it's always, it's always, uh, hurtful and, uh, disappointing to lose at home, you know what I'm saying? To lose, uh, you know, when you, are uh, born and raised that. You know, especially to a situation like this, you know what I mean? I mean, they have to punch in this fight, you know? I mean, people can tell, people can say what they want to say, you know? Go get them, do this, rush them, tell them. It's me. When I go at a person and I feel like, you know, I, I tried to do what I did and he stayed away. Good. Uh, you said, uh, can you explain the uh, knockdown at all? I don't know, I didn't see it. They didn't even show it to me. Do you expect to be back? Say it again? Do you expect to keep playing? Of course. Sal, did you feel that you didn't throw your hands? Didn't you just didn't let your hands go? Did you feel that? Of course. Yeah. I thought that um, it was different. You know what I'm saying? I mean, he, he did a good job of just pulling, just pulling away. You know what I'm saying? Like my jab. I counted his jab a lot. I took the jab away. hit with my jab a lot. You know what I mean? But, um, Paulie just kept it moving. You know, the first four rounds were amazing. I mean, he didn't close. I mean, you know, just closing the distance was, you know, kind of a tough situation, and I just couldn't get it over. I mean, those, like I said, those first four rounds, you did what you did, and then after that, looked like you just froze up, like you just couldn't throw those hands. Mm -hmm. His timing was pretty good. He had good timing on tonight. Can't take no, nothing away from him. You know what I'm saying? You got to keep it real. Man. You know, he wins some, you lose some, but you gotta just be a man about it. You know, one thing about me, y'all watch me for years. I'm far from a sucker. You know, I keep it, I'm gonna keep it real. You know what I mean? He, listen, tonight, we worked hard. We gave, we had a great training camp. You know, tonight, he just did a couple of things more that just threw us off a little bit. It's okay. Zab, uh, this is the first time you went to 147 in a few years. Did yeah. that have anything to do with the outcome? No, we made the weight fine. We made the weight fine. Um, it was great. It wasn't like we was in there with uh, Mike Tyson or nothing. You know what I mean? I mean, so it was pretty good. I mean, he never hurt me, stung me, nothing like that. He just, like I said, that little pity patter, quick, you know, stuff is like, you know, you find yourself, you find yourself reaching and, and, and swinging at stuff that's, you know what I mean? Like, because of his movement, you know what I mean? His little timing and stuff like that. So it's all good, though. Zach, did you think at some point, um, I think at some point uh, that he was yet brave. brave I, I was hoping. Happened. I was hoping that 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 was my whole plan. You know, if you kept watching, I, I kept trying to just go forward, just kept walking. I figured that 
maybe he'll just get brave and just, you know, try to exchange with me. And he never got to that moment. And you watch the fight back, you watch the replay. He's, the little timing that he had, like that little, that movement he does is like, kind of threw me off a little bit. And I'm like, like, what you doing? Like, you know, and he, he knows how to move it and pop off it. And move it and pop off it, you know what I mean? So, it's pretty good. Zab, is your future at 147, or do you think you come back down? Um, I don't know. I feel comfortable with it. I feel strong today. You know, I had a strong training camp. I had a lot of young, undefeated guys that I work with. You know, and I, you know, young guys. And you know, I did. I, I was doing pretty uh, great against them. And just I don't know, man. Mm. Tonight, just just sometimes it be like that. You just just you know, you might work harder and. You get to that night and it just won't, it just don't click. Zab, um, obviously you didn't take a lot of punishment or anything like that. No. Um, is this the kind of... I wish that, if it would have been punishment, then I would have probably been standing there with the Brooklyn Bell right now. Because that means that we would have had to engage in a war. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I think the, the most war we have about, what, this last 30 seconds of the fight? The 12 round? That was the biggest uh, roll out. So. Mm -hmm. But in, after a loss like this, does it make you think about giving it up, or do you just... No, man. You know me. I'm, I'm never a quitter, man. I'm never a quitter, man. I'm, I don't know how to quit. I don't know how to quit. Anytime anybody still was in a challenge to challenge me, I'm right there. I'm in their chest. You know what I mean? So, as far as you hear about me quitting, man, I'm, that's, that's far from it. Between the 11th and 12th, uh, what happened to Oh, Question for Yoel. Yoel, your assessment of uh, the performance, what did you see out there from Zap tonight and from Bali? Um, I mean, my son, he, uh, I mean, he fought good, you know what I mean? I was encouraging him to do a lot more. Uh, and he was trying to give it to me. And some of, I think after the fourth round, fifth round, he cramped up pretty bad his legs. So we was trying to work with that, but I wanted him to get close. I wanted him to make it a fight instead of boxing. Get close and fight Paulie. I kept telling him. And uh, I thought Paulie, anytime Zab would close the distance and get close to him, he would, he would he would destroy him. You know what I mean? But I just couldn't get him to get close to Paulie and let his hands go. And when he did do it, the bell would ring or it would end. Um, I don't know. I just wanted him to make it a more of a fight. Bring it to him. The whole ass of home and the whole fight. You got to bring it to him. You know what I'm saying? And uh, I don't know if the cramp may have something to do with it. He said that Paulie had a little funny move where he, you know, he just he would just throw him off. So, you know, like he said, Zab is a great champion. You know what I mean? And uh, you know, you like he said, you win some, you lose some, you know what I mean? But, you know, I mean a lot of people, you know, we expected this with this to happen, but it's life. And uh, I mean he he will be there. I mean one thing about it I wanna to say too, you know, my dad in my corner, they, they kept telling me all the right things, guys. I mean, I take nothing away from those guys. The guys, they had the right game plan. But sometimes when, you, when you're in there, you know, people can tell you what to do, but it just don't, it, you know, my dad was saying, go get them. And every time I went to get them, I just found myself being like, I, I felt myself personally sloppy. I felt like I was lunging with my left hand and trying to swing with my hooks. And, you know, he, you know Paulie, was, he, he was using his speed and his uh, great boxing ability to just keep me off balance. Last, last question, real quick. That's his last one, right? Right. right. Before you, before you leave, um, now that you fought Danny Garcia, you fought Paulie. We were talking about a future match for Paulie with Danny Garcia. You fought the, you fought both of them. How you think they would do? Um. You know, Danny gonna have to just do the same thing that I was told that I was told to do tonight. He, if he will fight Paulie, you gotta go get him because Paulie's not gonna engage in no fight. You can forget about that. He gonna stay outside and use his good jab and his, and his lateral movement and side stepping and you know he gonna box his way to a, a decision. You know, Paulie comes. Paulie trained for twelve rounds. He comes in good to box. He's nothing, nothing powerful. No nothing like that. You know. And you know, I mean, with that little herky jerky style, it's pretty good. I mean, but. You know, let's see if Danny can pull it up. You never know. Congratulations. Thank you, Zach. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.